color story I mean with palettes coming out with these type of shades and shadows and colors in them is this the new fall I don't know but listen let me tell you something I'm loving it okay I love this beautiful retro glam color story that Natasha Denona has come out with I love it it's different it's beautiful I like these colors together and I had a lot of fun playing with them today so the palette I'm talking about of course is the new Natasha Denona Retro Glam Palette. I knew as soon as I saw it sneak peeked, even before it was supposed to be sneak peeked <laughs> and people were talking about it before it was supposed to be talked about, I said, that is really pretty. I like it. I'm going to get it. So yes, this is the palette that I'm talking about. Hopefully there's not too, too much glare. Let me see if I can get a a decent you guys see all my lights and stuff but look at the the packaging for this it's really really neat really cute really pretty really retro a nice blend of you know the greens and pinky tones for the packaging i really like it got the green on the back of course all of her palettes are you know you can pop the pans out and switch them around but yeah this color story it's just so, so pretty, so gorgeous, so unique in one palette. And of course, with Natasha Denona's quality of shadows, I had to jump on it. So this is the palette that I played with today. So this palette does retail for $69. I did pick mine up at a nice little discount because I did use some of my credit bonuses and my points bonuses. I think me personally, I paid like $24 for this. So even happier about that. But yeah, it retails for $69. I am going to go ahead and read what she had to say about this palette just to give you a better idea of the combination of the two palettes that she, you know, used inspiration for to bring us this palette while you take a closer look at it as well as some swatches that I did earlier. Retro Glam, bringing two of Natasha's most celebrated creations into a new midi-sized eyeshadow palette concept. This dynamic color story combines the greens, pinks, and neutral nudes of the mini retro eyeshadow palette with a variety of seductive glam eyeshadow palette finishes in a collection of all new shades. Retails for $69. And as you guys can see from the swatches and from a closer look at the palette, of course, my question was, is this palette going to work for me? Are the shades going to show up on my eyes, my skin tone with, you know, just my usual eyeshadow base? How is it going to work out? And I will say, spoiler alert, they show up. <laughs> they look beautiful. They blend <laughs> like a dream as usual. And I really, really like the finishes and just the whole concept of this palette. So let's just go ahead and jump right in. If you'd like to see how I created this look today, then stay tuned because it is coming up next. Okay, you guys, so before I even get started, I'm going in with some of my P. Louise base just to make sure that my eyelid is nicely prepped for this eye look. I pretty much use the P. Louise base all the time. As you can see, I'm going in with a slightly damp sponge just to make sure I have a nice even coat all over my eyelid, nice base to work with. So the first shadow that I'm going into is called Sage. It's a really pretty kind of mid-tone green shade. It's not the lightest in the palette, but not the darkest either. But I wanted to see how this would come off on my lid. And as you can see, it is building up very, very nicely, very pigmented and very, very smooth. I really didn't go into a lot of shades for this look. 
So next I'm going into Jazzy. I wanted to deepen up the outer corner. Started out, you know, just kind of setting this up for a regular eye look. But later on, as you'll see, I did decide to turn it into a halo eye. So I just wanted to get a feel for this shade. It is one of the cream to powder type shadows. So I just kind of had to go in, tap it down, build it up to my desired um, pigmentation. And it worked out very easily with the brush. As you can see now, I decided to go in and turn this into kind of like a halo eye. And so I'm placing that same shade Jazzy in the inner corner as well, gently tapping it and laying it down. Like I said, it's one of the cream to powder shadows, so it can take a little getting used to to apply, but as you can see, it went down very nice. So for my center of my lid, I'm, I went into Flare, beautiful pink shade. It's like a rosy pink. It looks lighter here on my eyes than it actually is in the pan. It looks a little bit darker in the pan, but it's a beautiful rosy shade that I am just laying down in the center of this eye look. As you can see, no muss, no fuss, just tapping it down and building it up to my desired pigmentation. Very, very pretty. And as you guys know, I'm not afraid to mix colors that I guess aren't typically supposed to go together. <laughs> so I just went in, added some Ardell lashes and black liner. And for my lips, I went in with my Sephora lip liner and one of my Too Faced lipsticks in Hot Toddy. So for the lower lash line, I decided to go in with this aquamarine shade from my Beauty Creations eyeliner set. I love these liners. They're really pigmented, nice and bright, easy to use, and I don't have to tug too much. So for the inner corner pop, I'm going into Palladium. Oh my goodness, you guys. When I first laid it down, I'm like, okay, pretty bright, beautiful shimmer shade. But I went in with a second round. <laughs> and when I topped it off with that second layer, you guys can see it was like, whoa, <laughs> super bright, super beautiful. I didn't wet my brush either, you guys. This is a dry brush. Very, very beautiful, but not surprising from Natasha Denona. So yeah, as you guys know, I love a beautiful inner corner pop. So I just went in with some mascara on my lower lash line. If you follow me, you know sometimes I like to keep my lower lash line pretty simple. When I have a lot going on up top, sometimes I just put on a liner and lashes and that works for me. Other times I'll go ahead and smoke it out. So to set this whole face in place, I'm using my Charlotte Tilbury uh, airbrush finish spray, setting spray and just fanning that dry. Loving, loving, loving the hold on that setting spray. So this is the final look, you guys. Really short and sweet, nothing too crazy. I think I will go in with this palette and try to create, you know, one of my more dramatic cut crease eye looks. But for today, I wanted to keep it pretty simple for you guys. Something easy for you guys to recreate if you wanted to do this look. But I am loving it. Love this color story, love this palette. Natasha Denona never lets us down. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Toodles.